So I have never watched Alphaba before. <laughs> Call me an Alphaba virgin, if you will. You may have never seen her yourself. Well, here's a little intro. You know what? I am done with everything. I never have proper friends. I have never like you. I'm done with people calling me a. Yeah, it seems like a roller coaster of emotions, and she's known for like not washing her hair. And by looking at it, it looks like there's some sort of fungi growing in there. I would definitely not want to sleep next to her, probably end up with some sort of, like, disease <laughs> or something along those lines. But if I was to sum her up, I would tell you that you've ordered the Lady Boy from Wish, which is just as great as it sounds, you know, it's the whole package. It comes in about six months, but it'll get there at some point, you know, about as long as it took Elphaba to wash her hair. So <laughs> let's just uh, take a look at her faking some ticks because it's, she's been all over the internet, all right? What better can I do than to show you guys who Elphaba is? Got some sort of disease in from her hair, I'm sure. You might be wondering, what is this tick about? Well, this is her uh, deciding whether or not to grab the conditioner to finally wash her hair. That's what that tick was about. She's like, let me just, should I grab the conditioner? Mm, I don't know. I can't leave my greasy hair the way it is. Love it. Thank you for shopping at Tesco. Thank you for shopping at Tesco. That was one of her ticks. I wonder what she bought. Definitely wasn't shampoo, that's for sure. Oh, he gets him again. Woo! Get bang! A lot of dust came off that, I'm kind of concerned. Maybe that's what's in her hair, all this shit. Oh my god, that's really dusty. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just fucking help her back. <laughs> anyway, that's definitely not how Tourette's work. Like, what is this all about? Like, it's like she's almost resisting the tick, which is impossible. If you've got Tourette's, you can't resist the tick. So she's talking crap there, basically. I can't breathe in this room now. That why did I do that? For, 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 for a bit? Like, really? Where is my, where's my smoking device gone? <laughs> That'll be better than air. Okay. What in the flying hell was that? It's like she got glitched in between, like, eyelashes on fleek. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking weirdo, what the hell's going on here? This alphabet person has started to become very more concerning the more I watch her. And she was faking a seizure here. As we know, guys, in 2023, it's quirky to have a seizure, okay? It's quirky to have mental health problems. Just remember that. If you aren't depressed, you're weird. Now, keep in mind as well, this girl's 19 years old. She's 19 and she's on TikTok doing this crap. Anything to get famous, guys. Anything to get famous. And she'd done some other weird stuff as well that I heard about, like covered herself in slime and sexualized herself. We're gonna look at that. It was pretty weird. There's just pictures for it, but let's check uh, Elfie Faints on Live. This should be good. Why is there not? <laughs> It's like I'm watching some sort of fucking musical, you know? I'm gonna faint. <sighs> Elphaba has a meltdown. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I wonder what her meltdowns are like. If she's faking all this, like, you know, Tourette's and all that. I wonder what her meltdowns are gonna be like. Why can't all of you just fucking shut up? Like, why can't all of you just understand what I'm going through right now? Like, no one gives a flying fuck. No one understands. And everyone just attacks me and bullies me for this shit. <laughs> That was brilliant. The cowboy hat. Perfect timing that was. And what's all this roaring about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, chill the fuck out, right? Are people supposed to care what you're going through, really? Everyone's dealing with their own shit. We've all got problems. The difference is that we don't come on TikTok and preach to everyone of how important I am. I'm important. You should care about my problems. You should put me before yourself. Why don't you care about me? Because everyone's dealing with their own shit, Alphaba. Get used to it. Just move my chair closer, it's turned into a little dance for a second. Cause I'm fed up to God of this shit. And yes, I'll tell the police I threatened her. Happily, in a fucking manic episode. So do it, use that for your fucking stuff. Cause you know what, I am done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kick ass! Yeah! Yeah! Get in there, son! <laughs> Clap it up for Elphaba, everyone. I am sweating. I am shaking with fear. Clap it up. Greatest theatre act I have ever seen. With people trying to fucking find me as a target. I'm done with people calling me a pedo. I am done with everything. This is not fair on my fucking self. 
This is not fair on any of this. Absolute animal. An animal we are witnessing right now. An animal in its cage being rattled. If it's not her acting up on camera to get loads of views, then it's clear mental issues. Like, this is insane. And to think that you'd go on TikTok and act like that, and people would be like, Alphaba, no, we love you. Please don't melt down. We really care about you. It's not the fucking internet works. <laughs> Fuck's going on? Why do you, any of you think it's funny to hang on me and to, to destroy my life? Fucking use me for clout. They destroy me. They try and make every- Hey, you're giving us the material. No one asked you to come on live and do that. People using it for clout. And why, Elphaba, are you ripping out your beautiful, moisturized hair? Oh my days, Elphaba, you're destroying yourself. <laughs> no one's destroying you. You quite physically destroyed yourself. You asked for it when you made your TikTok account. And if I'm being quite honest with you, I think she's doing it on purpose. She may claim to have some mental disorders, and if she does, then she definitely needs to go and see somebody about that. But if you ask me, uh, it's following the same blueprint as Trisha Paytas, Anision. It worked. I mean, Anision had a meltdown. Everyone made videos about it. Got shit ton of views. Drove more traffic to Anision. Trisha Paytas, she was just doing this weird shit all the time, you know, and having these meltdowns about the, the vlog squad and everything, and it worked, and it drove more traffic to her channel. She knows what she's doing. Guaranteed. It's fucking weird though, I tell you. I feel like I'm on a different planet watching this shit right now. I can't fucking do it anymore. I think at any moment she's about to turn into Hulk. She's transforming. What you are witnessing right now is an animal during his transformation stage. Dude is transforming right now. What is she becoming? Like, defying gravity? Jumping like she's Superman? Or Superwoman? And also, you know what this whole thing reminds me of? It's of that, like, really old clip of that kid that's, like, raging about his game and shoves a remote control in his ass. That's what I thought was about to happen. I thought I was reliving that clip. But it's just Alphaba having another meltdown again. So, nothing special. And keep in mind, this meltdown, apparently, according to the comments, was about her being dropped from Brighton Pride. <laughs> Oh, it continues. She continues to beat the crap out of herself on the floor. Brilliant. Lovely stuff. Elphaba. Elphaba, why, Elphaba, why? <laughs> Just walked throughout his hotel halls at 6 a.m. pretending someone's stalking him for views. Oh my god. I'm not kidding you. I am not dealing with any more fucking men in this fucking world. Uh, okay, Elphaba. Like we're gonna believe someone was following you at 6 a.m. Uh, it's probably all the cocaine you've been sniffing. Starting to see the shadow people. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing following you around is your terrible smell coming from your hair. Sorry, that's a bit deep, but just wash it. And here, ladies and gentlemen, I came across this clip of Elphaba claiming that she's learned how to stand like a lady. She knows the posture to stand like a, a proper woman. Well, this clip was spotted with uh, her friends in Bristol. She does not look the part. <laughs> Stood like a true woman, I'd say. A true woman. 100% those used to be jeans as well. And she didn't just cut them with the scissors like any normal person would, no. She used her fierce anger to rip them. That was during one of her meltdowns. That's what that, that happened there. What a state, man. I mean, you just look like you've just smoked way too much crack. And you're after the next hit. So, <laughs> good luck, Elphaba. You need to sort yourself out, seriously. I have gone insane. And it's turned me insane, TikTok. It has ruined me. And it has fucking destroyed me. And I cannot escape it. This genuinely does sound like a villain arc. <laughs> this would be in a movie, it would be. You have ruined me. Forced me into the ground. You have destroyed me. Now, <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> Look at this, me when I die in a Roblox horror game. <laughs> me when my Amazon order gets delayed. She is like a hardcore meme, and she's just making it worse for herself. Now it's time to look at the Elphaba slime video. Oh, she's got a slime kink. It's like where she likes to be covered in slime and it turns her on. I mean, I can't really get behind that, but I guess whatever you're into is what you're into, and she loves to be covered in black slime. So these are her slime pictures. She's saying it's like private, but they're all over the internet, so... Hold on to your horses. 
starring Alphaba Orion Doherty. Venom 3, in cinemas, the 11th of November. Hell yeah, guys. I can't wait for Venom 3. Do you see that? Oh my days, man. It's going to be a good movie. And, you know, a five-star rating already. Anyway, with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It's my first time checking out Alphaba. If this is your first time also, let me know down below in the comments. And if you have anything to add to this video, also let me know in the comments. I will reply with a nice love heart. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. You're mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.